Hey guys, just figured I'd do a real quick impromptu unedited video of a update on the greenhouse. Uh, not much to say this week. Um, our goal is to obviously grow stuff, but we also kind of want to make it look nice. Um, biggest thing with having this fence here is getting in there with a lawnmower to get rid of the grass is a pain. So we decided to go ahead and just cover it all up with uh, mulch. We're still in the process of getting the rest of it done, but you can see here I start with fabric and then just put um, thick brown paper on it and then cover the rest with just uh, cypress mulch. It looks pretty and hopefully it's going to prevent the grass from the weeds from coming in as well. Um, I showed you guys in the last video I do want to go ahead and grow cucumbers up uh, a rope. So that is still set up. Cucumbers are growing slowly. I think this weather is kind of messing with everything. I hope it's the weather. Um, to be honest, this is my first year trying to grow stuff. So at this point, I just hope it's the weather. Um, the netting is here because we want to grow mini cute or mini watermelons. So we're going to trellis those watermelons up that net um, and hopefully get a harvest of good watermelons at the end of the summer. One of the things that we've already noticed is this thing gets super hot on the inside. Um, even if it's 70 outside, if the sun is going, it'll easily get into the hundreds. So one thing we have done is we actually converted this store into a uh, Dutch store. It was really easy too. Um, first thing I did was add that hinge right there to the door. Um, and then when I did that, after which point I went ahead and actually uh, disconnected the door from the greenhouse, cut it from the back side, like right back here, about an inch above the panels, and just cut it right through as straight as I could. Um, there was no problems in there at all. There's nothing, nothing I cut through or nothing I ruined by doing that. So that was kind of awesome. <laughs> I then went ahead and I uh, attached both the doors again to the greenhouse, put this little bolt lock on there, and moved the uh, hinge in the front down as well as added in this weatherproofing right here. I don't know if the weatherproofing is really needed, just kind of figured it would help with the swelling of this door. It makes it to where I can close the door, the bottom, and protect my dogs from, or protect the greenhouse from my dogs going in there. Because they like to dig in the, in the pots and stuff, especially if I spread some bone meal in them. So this protects that, but it still allows airflow to come out of the greenhouse as well. Growth-wise, not much has changed. Um, we're still trying to get some seeds started. Uh, we still want to try and grow lettuce in this wall back here. I'm having the hardest time getting any of those lettuce started. I don't know if I just got a bad batch of lettuce seeds or the weather is screwing with me. I'm not sure. But we want to get lettuce started. We still want to get some cabbage going because we had bugs that ate our cabbage seedlings. So we need to go ahead and get those going. Those are the watermelons. I don't know how to say this one. Those are just the nasturtiums. So... Yeah, we're pretty excited. Um, we still have a lot to learning to do on how to exactly manage a greenhouse. Like I said, it gets really hot in here. It's about 75 outside right now and the thermometer shows a little over 90. But that's, that's kind of the point, right? That's why there is such a thing as a greenhouse effect. But yeah, um, right now everything's powered with the EcoFlow down there. Um, Eventually, I want to go ahead and get this greenhouse attached to the shed for power. That way, I don't have to run the EcoFlow in there and risk getting it wet and stuff. It's just going to be a little bit before I can do that. It's all, unfortunately, with money and stuff. I mean, even a 200 watt power use panel is 70 to 80 bucks. So, just kind of money, everything is what we're waiting on. But just kind of figured, give you guys a quick breakdown of what we got, uh, what we're doing. And maybe give you guys some further ideas on what you can do with your greenhouse this summer. Thanks, guys.